six. With nothing but time on his hands, Eric Kahn decided to put pen to paper and write a letter detailing those six months he spent on the run from federal authorities. Today, an attorney who previously worked on Kahn's case discussed Kahn's account. Michael Burke has our LEX 18 Big Story at 6. That handwritten 42-page letter authored by Eric Kahn and sent to the Herald Leader was not the only copy that he sent from jail. Lexington attorney Scott White is transitioning off Kahn's case. I had asked him not to send it, and I thought that we had prevented it from being sent. Kahn is the former attorney who was sentenced to 12 years in prison after executing a social security fraud scheme. He cut off his ankle monitor while awaiting sentencing and managed to leave the country without a passport. His musings detail everything from crossing into Mexico with the help of a dog to getting into Honduras with the help of a fake fiancé he met on a bus. He's facing, you know, a life in prison, and so that's going to have impacts on anyone's mental health. But Mr. White doesn't believe Khan is mentally ill, and it's possible that his written account is 100% fact or 100% fiction or somewhere in between. Is it within the realm of possibility? What I have learned in this case is that anything is possible. <laughs> anything like naming a dog he found Curly, which helped him make it into Mexico by distracting Border Patrol agents. The dog story is really good. Eric Kahn's story just took one more unforeseen turn. Covering the news in Lexington, Michael Burke, LEX 18 News.